our viewers on number one TV, those ones who are following us through social media, that is on Facebook and YouTube, Emmanuel KG Scatter family. We are blessed to bring you the word of God. Thank you for tuning in. You are such a special people to us. Therefore, we bless God for you. Allow us pray as we come to the word of God. Our dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your mercies and love. We honor your name because you are great God. We magnify you everlasting Father. Thank you for the grace of God. We pray for our viewers. Those following us in social on social media. We ask for the grace to minister to them. We thank you for those ones even in this church. We give you glory because you are faithful God. Receive all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are honored to bring you the word of God from Emmanuel KG in Skata. My name is Pastor Jasper Msuya. We are ministering under the servant of God, Reverend Paul Kasim. And we bless God for our Father in the Lord. Now us bring you the word of God by the grace of God. In our last series we are bringing you, we shared about the topic, rising and staying up our main text was the book of Psalms 18 we are reading from verse 28 onwards you Lord keep my lamp burning my God turns my darkness into light with your help I advance against a troop with my God, I scale a wall. As for God, his way is perfect. The, Lord is, the Lord's word is flawless. He shields all who take refuge in him. For who is God besides the Lord? Who is the rock except God? It is God who arms me with strength and keeps my way secure. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He causes me to stand on high heights. He trains my hands to battle. My arms can bend a bow of bronze. You make your saving help my shield, and your right hand sustains me. You help me as uh, your help has made me great. You provide a broad path for my feet so that my angles do not give way. Amina, tasoma kwanzia msari wa 28 na Biblia inasema kwamba kwa kuwa wewe unaiwasha una taa yangu, Bwana Mungu wangu unaangazia giza langu. Maana kwa msaada wako nafuatia jeshi, kwa msaada wa Mungu wangu naruka ukuta. Mungu njia yake ni kamilifu, ahadi ya Bwana imehakikishwa. Yeye ndiye ngao yao wote wanaomkimbilia. Maana ni nani aliye Mungu ila Bwana? Ni nani aliye mwamba ila Mungu wetu? Mungu ndiye anifungaye mikishipi wa nguvu naye an, anaifanya kamilifu njia yangu. Mungu miguu yangu anaifanya kuwa ya, ya kulungu na kunisimamisha mahali pa mahali pangu pa juu. Ananifundisha mikono yangu vita, mikono yangu ikaupinda upinde wa shaba. Nawe umenipa ngao ya, mko, ya okovu wako mkono wako wa ukuume umenitegemeza na unyenyekevu wako umenikuza umezifanyizia nafsi hatua zangu na miguu yangu hayukuiteleza amina amen, amen. 
Verse 33 tells us that there is a place called a high place and every child of God has his or her high place. It is the will of God that you go to her greater heights. That's why he says in Deuteronomy 28.13 that when we obey him his voice. He will lift us to be above and not beneath. We shall be the head and not the tail. It is also important for you to note we said that there are people who are examples in the Bible. These people rose to their great heights and they stayed up there. They fulfill God's purpose. Good example is Joseph. Joseph went through a wilderness. But God had his high place for him. And when God allowed him he came to a high place. He became a prime minister in Egypt. He had wisdom to feed the whole world. He did excellently and he was above. He could interpret a dream which no man could interpret. And did Pharaoh asked, where can we find such a as this whom the spirit of God lives in and he rose to be a prime minister another good example is Elijah Elijah the prophet time came when he stood. He said it shall not rain for three and a half years. A man of God, Elijah, he challenged the prophets of Baal. He summoned the whole land of Israel. He summoned even King Ahab. And they came and he manifested God is glory and God glorified himself because there was a man who accepted to work with God and he went to a higher place hallelujah 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 Daniel and his brothers Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego they went in exile in Babylon but by the grace of God they rose to the higher authority and leadership they were appointed to be administrators even besides them being exiled God is God who never changes. Even in the New Testament, the Bible speaks of a man called John and Peter. Men who are unschooled. But they turn the whole world upside down. Because they accepted God. And they walked with God. And we also see Paul. A man who was a persecutor. But when he encountered Jesus Christ. He turns the whole world upside down. He takes the message to many nations. And even he writes many up, even up epistles to the churches. Because he's is a man whom God decided to lift to go to his high place. I said every man, every woman has his high place. You can influence in the place of influence. It is God's will. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the right of Psalms. Psalms 18. Believe this is a man of God, David. He says, God. 
He gives me the feet like of a deer. And he takes me to greater heights. Listen to me somebody. Mtu. A deer. Kulungu. It is an animal. Ni mnyama. That is most looked for by other wild animals who eat other animals. Na wanyama wengine, wanakula wanyama wengine. He has a precious meat. Ana nyama nzuri. But the one thing unique about this animal. Na kitu, ki, kitu ambacho ni kizuri sana kusu mnyama. It can run for many kilometers without growing weary. Anaweza kimbia mwendo wa mwendo mrefu sana bila kuchoka. Lion can run very fast. Kun, uh, simba anaweza kukimbia sana. But within a short range. Lakini muda tu mchache. But the deer, lakini ule kulungu, will go very far. Anaenda mwendo wa kasi sana. Without growing weary. Bila ya kuchoka. A long distance Mwendo mrefu. Bible says in the book of Isaiah. Biblia inasema katika kitabu cha Isaia. That those who wait upon God. Kwamba wale ambao wanamngojea Mungu. He shall renew their strength. Atanawisha na nguvu zao. Like eagles they shall so high. Kama tai watapanda juu. So when God gives you the feet like of a deer. Kama Mungu anaweza kupatia Mungu anaweza kupatia miguu kama ya kulungu. This is what the Bible means. Ndio hivyo hivi ndivyo Biblia inamaanisha. That you will go without growing weary. You want to go up. You require the grace of God. And I foresee God. Who will always renew your strength. So that you go higher up. You know climbing is not easy. If you climb a mountain. You cannot just climb one very easily. You go step by step. So for you not to grow weary. You require enough strength. And for you to go up to the higher point of a mountain. You require to do it consistently. Or else you will give up on the way. So when we wait upon God. We find new strength. Every day. Our strength is renewed. We don't grow weary. Because when we wait upon him. He makes us strong. Bible says and the joy of the Lord is my strength. Another thing we say that when we wait upon God he gives you what we call speed anointing. By praying by praying you find new grace you find strength you find in anointing that takes you faster. That's why he says God will enlarge my feet he will enlarge my stride so that I go faster when Elijah prayed to God and he told, he told Ahab that move very fast because there comes the rain the Bible says and Elijah went ahead of Ahab he overtook Ahab that's why why the Bible says with you God I overtake troops I leap over the wall that is verse 29 that's by with you God I run over troops I leap over the wall when the enemy is laying trap on you you overtake his troop you run through you overtake him when they wanted to arrest Elisha oh God is good and Elisha told those men from Aram who are you looking for said we are looking for Elisha said come I take you there and they became blind they passed through Elisha's place they could not see he took them into the city he said now this is the place and men came back to their senses we serve a mighty God this great God will help you run through a troop 
majeshi so that you got your greater heights ili kwamba ukaenda mahali pako pale give god a might hand clap somebody atia mtu mungu makofi give god glory somebody atia mungu utukufu mtu there is a greater height kuna mahali pa juu wait upon god mungu jetu mungu we said when you go with god nilisema kwamba ukienda na mungu god is never defeated mungu hashindwi he is a might man of war yeye ni mungu wa mkuu wa vita as that for says he trains my hand to war and msaru wa the lord inasema kwamba anafunza mikono yangu kwa vita he trains my hand for battle anafunza mikono yangu kwa vita and my arms to bend the bronze bow na mikono yangu kukunja ile 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 zile vyuma vya ashaba bronze bow vyuma vya ashaba is the one used for releasing arrows ni ile ambayo inatumika kuachilia mishale so there is fiery darts of the enemy fiery darts by the enemy kuna ile mishale mikubwa ya adui but by god lakini kwa mungu and by faith in him na katika imani kwake we are able to stop them We also said when you walk in humility. Nilisema kwamba unapotembea katika ukuti. God will give you the grace to go up. Mungu atakusipatia ile neema ya kwenda juu. When you humble yourself. Wakati unajinyenyekeza. God lifts you. Mungu anakuinua. James 4:7. Yeah, ya Yakobo 4:7. First Peter 5:4. Petero 1:5-4. When you humble wakati unakuwa na Mungu you get the grace to go up unapata neema ya kwenda juu but when you are proud lakini una lakini nguvu zako you become an enemy of god unakuwa adui wa Mungu and god resists you na Mungu anakupinga hallelujah hallelujah he gives grace to the humble anapeana neema kwa wale ambao wanajinyia but he resists the proud lakini anapinga wale ambao wanajinyia so when you humble wakati unajinyenyekeza you get the grace to go up unapata neema ya kwenda juu for god lifts people wa maana Mungu anainua watu from dust kutoka mavumbi and seated with great people na anawaketisha na watu wakuu great levels kwa maana nafasi za juu higher levels nafasi za juu with the gift of god na kwa ki balisha Mungu you come before great men unakuja mbele ya wafalme by the gift of god na kwa kibali kile cha Mungu you come before princess unakuja mbele ya wafalme by the gift of god kwa kibali cha Mungu you come before the king unakuja mbele ya malango david was a mere shepherd david alikuwa ule mchungaji but when god found him lakini Mungu alipokumkuta he anointed him alimpaka mafuta he gave him grace alimpa neema to come before the king kuja mbele ya mfalme he first became mara ya kwanza alikuwa the ambera yeye alikuwa amebeba mbeba mishale the ambera yeye alikuwa amebeba mishale to king saul kwa mfalme sauli but god lifted him father lakini mungu alimuinua he became the king yeye akawa mfalme god almighty mungu ni mkuu god almighty mungu mkuu cannot be opposed yeye hawezi kushinda cannot be resisted yeye hawezi kupigwa he's mighty in battle yeye ni mkuu katika vita when you humble wakati unanyenyekeza he fights for you anakupigania hallelujah 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 allow god to fight for you ruhusu mungu akupigania don't fight for yourself usichipiganie don't announce yourself wewe usijipeane let god announce you wacha mungu akukutangaze let men testify wacha watu Surely is a man of God. Yes, ni mtu wa Mungu. Because God, maana Mungu, is God. Yeye ni Mungu. He said to do Joshua. Anamwambia Yoshua. And when you obey, kwamba unaponitii, and walk according to the law, na ukaenda shakani sana na sheria, I will glorify you. Nitakutukuza. God Almighty. Mungu mkuu. He says, anasema, them that serve him wale ambao wanamtumikia he honors them anawaheshimu when god honors you wakati mungu anakuheshimu men will honor you watu wanao watakuheshimu when god favors you mungu anapokukupa kibali men will you will find favor utapata kibali before great men mbele ya watu wakuu seek god tafute mungu allow god ruhusu mungu to anoint you akupake mafuta thank you akupeleke to greater high mahali pa juu no man hakuna mwanadamu no woman hakuna mwanadamu bring down god ambaye anaweza leta chini mungu but when men lakini wanadamu take you up wanapokupeleka juu one day siku moja they will bring you down utakuleta chini hallelujah hallelujah humble yourself jinyenyekeze mwenyewe When Nebuchadnezzar exalted himself, wakati Nebuchadnezzar alijinua yeye mwenyewe, he was brought down, alishushwa chini. He was taken to the field, alipelekwa kule kwenye uwanja. He ate the grass, alikula zile nyasi. 
He lived like a wild animal. And he came back to his senses. God resists the proud. But gives grace to the humble. God hears the prayer. Prayed in humility. Luke 18. Luke 18. Jesus spoke a parable. Mungu alisema mfano huu in the book of Luke 18 katika kitabu cha Luka 9 kutokea mstari wa 9 Bible speaks of two men Biblia inazungumzia watu wawili who went to pray walienda kuomba a Pharisee ule mfarisayo and a tax collector ule mtosa ushuru one said mmoja akasema proudly akasema kwa ukiburi Lord don't you know I fast twice a week Je, bwana unajua kwamba mimi ufunga kwa mwiko He gave out his curriculum vitae. Akapeana sifa zake zote. He said how good he was. Akasema jinsi vile yeye ni mzuri. But this man, lakini huyu mtu, a tax collector, ule mtoza ushuru, he humbled himself. Alijinyenyekeza. Jesus said, Mungu akasema, this tax collector, huyu mtoza ushuru, received what he was desiring for. Alipokea kile ambacho alikuwa anatamani. When you humble yourself, wakati unajinyenyekeza, God hears your prayer. Mungu usikiza maombi yako. Second Chronicles 714 If my people called by my name shall humble themselves pray humility when it precedes prayer God hears and he answers Watu wa Mungu aitwa kwa jina langu atakapoomba ile maombi ya unyenyekevu Mungu husikiza Hallelujah 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 When you pray wakati unaomba in humility katika unyenyekevu God hears you Mungu usikiza We also said bila pia tulisema walk in faith tembea katika imani in God na Mungu for with the faith maana katika imani you please God unamfurahisha Mungu walk in faith tembea katika imani walk in humility tembea katika unyenyekevu obey God mtii Mungu hear God's voice give a sauti ya Mungu and live according to his word kaishi kulingana na neno lake wait upon him mngoje with perseverance kwa kwa kuvumilia hallelujah 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 many people want to be great watu wengi wanataka kuwa wakuu but they don't want to wait lakini hawataki kungoja God works according to his word. Mungu fanya kazi kulingana na neno lake. He does his appointed time. Wakati ule ambao ni wake tu. When you wait upon him. Wakati unamngoja. He will bring it to pass. Atalikuja kulitimiza. Abraham waited. Abraham alingoja. God responded. Mungu alijibu. He blessed him with Isaac. Alibambariki na Isaac. Who was a heir. Ambaye alikuwa mrithi. When you wait. Wakati unangoja. Patiently. Kwa kuvumilia. God will hear you. Mungu atakusikiza. He will take you to a greater height. Atakupeleka mahali pa juu. The problem that is now. Ba shida ambayo ilioko. Many people. Watu wengi. Want to be like so and so. Wanataka ukuwe kama fulani na fulani. Let me tell you. Lacha ni wambi yene. Every person. Kila mtu. Has his own great place. Ana baraka za keku. He has his own timing. Ana tawana umuda wake. Send to the great heights. Kwa kuinua kama li paju. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have faith. Je unaimani. Wait upon God. Mungo je mungu. Hallelujah. 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 This man says. Huye mtu akasema. He's the one who lights my lamp. Yeye ndia humu. He lights my darkness. He makes my way perfect. God is the one who makes your way perfect. As that he says. The Lord's word is flawless. So read the word. Do the word. Fanya neno leave the word uishi kwa neno and god will lift you na mungu atakuinua hallelujah hallelujah allow us to say something briefly turuhusu tuseme kitu kwa ufupi about salvation kuhusu wokovu and i want to say this na nataka niseme hii even as god lifts you wakati mungu anakuinua do not neglect this salvation whether you are in the political sphere or any mountain of influence be it religion be it entertainment be it media remain in this salvation do not neglect salvation Hebrews chapter 2 verse 1 to 3 Kwanzia msari wa kwanza hadi wa tatu. Hebrews chapter 2, Waibrania 2, verse 1 to 3. Msari wa kwanza hadi wa tatu. This is what the Bible says. Hivi ndiyo Biblia inasema, we must pay the most careful attention 
Therefore, to what we have heard, so that we do not drift away. For since the message with the message spoken through angels was binding, and even violation and disobedience received its just punishment, how shall we escape if we ignore so great a salvation? This salvation, which was first announced by the Lord, was confirmed to us by those who heard him. God also testifying it to, by signs, wonders, and various miracles, and by gifts of the Holy Spirit distributed according to his will. Amen. Mustari wa kwanza wa Ibrania wa pili inasema kwamba kwa hiyo imetupasa kuyaangalia zaidi haya yaliyosikiwa tusije tukoyakosa tukoyakosa maana ikiwa lile neno lililo nenwa na malaika lilikuwa imara na kila kosa na uasi ulipata ujira wa haki sisi je tutapataje kupona tusipo tusipojali wokovu mkuu namna hii ambao kwanza ulinenwa na Bwana kisha ukadhibitika kwetu na wale waliosikia Mungu ni Mungu naye akishuhudia pamoja nao kwa ishara na ajabu na nguvu za namna nyingi na kwa magawanyo ya roho mtakatifu kama alivyopenda mwenyewe amina haleluya haleluya very briefly we are sharing about do not neglect so great salvation kwa ufupi tu tunataka tushiriki kwa kuhusu hapana dharahu wokovu the bible tells us biblia inatuambia pay careful attention yaangalie zaidi haya the bible says pay attention not just attention but careful attention biblia inasema kwamba yatupasa tuyaangalie zaidi because it is very important manake ni maana sana to understand that salvation is precious kwamba kuelewa kwamba saloe wokovu ni wa maana sana when the bible says pay careful attention bila kusema kwamba yaangalieni haya simply tells us let's not ignore bila kusema kwa inamaanisha kwamba tusidharau salvation is precious wokovu ni wa maana sana we must pay a lot of attention to it lazima tuichukulie kwa kumaanisha when you are born again wakati umeokoka you have taken a precious thing umepata kitu chilicho za dhamana it's called salvation inaitwa wokovu if you are not born again kama haujaokoka you require to get born again lazima kupasa ukaokoke and receive salvation na ukapokea wokovu so the right of the book of hebrews mwandisho kitabu cha hebrewia is is appealing to us yeye anatuomba kwetu sisi he is calling us anatuita to be careful kuwa waangalifu on matters of our salvation kwa maswala ya ya wokovu you must pay careful attention lazima ukawe mwangalifu why kwa nini he wants us Anatu, that if we don't hatari. give it a pay, careful attention kama tunapo, kama kwa kumanisha, if we don't give the attention it requires kama kwa we are likely pasa. to lose it Kuna the bible says nasema, if we don't heed kama to what we have heard kwa kila ambacho tumesikia then there is a danger kwa hivyo kutakuwa na hatari of us drifting away kwa sisi kuondoka why should we pay attention to this salvation kwa nini tukawe waangalifu sana kwa hii number one ya kwanza salvation is from god himself wokovu unatokana kwa mungu mwenyewe god is the planner of this salvation mungu ni mpangaji wa huu wokovu he is the one who gave out this plan yeye ndiye alipeana huu mpango when a man fell wakati mtu mwanadamu alianguka god had to come up with a plan mungu ali so that a man is redeemed ili kwamba mwanadamu akakombolewe in the first place katika msemo ya kwanza god made a skin mungu alifanya ngozi from an animal kutoka kwa mnyama so that adam and eve ili kwamba adam na hawa will cover themselves wakaweza kujifunika it was not enough haikutosha hiyo god gave another plan mungu alipeana mpango mwingine that, that animals wakamkomba mnyama mnyama god's bulls and the lions zile mimi mimi mindume that can be they could be slaughtered ambaye inaweza kuchinjwa that their blood could redeem man kwamba damu yao ikakombwa ikakombwa sins could be forgiven kwamba dhambi zikaweza kusababisha by the sacrifice
sacrifice of animals that was not enough now God came up with the last remedy and he sent his begotten son salvation is precious salvation is precious because number one it is God's plan so when you pay attention to salvation you are paying attention to the plan of God how I pray that you give it the honest attention that it requires because this is the plan of God number two it involves the ultimate price of the son of God Jesus Christ God gave his son so that we could receive salvation that's why the bible says for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish John chapter 3 verse 16 God gave his son that he may purchase us that he may buy us so that we are saved so that we are redeemed by his own blood it is so precious because it knows the son of God Jesus Christ he came in flesh he dwelled among people he was killed he was wounded he was smitten he gave up his ghost on the third day he rose again he is living that's why man can only be saved through the name of Jesus the only name that we receive our salvation the name of Jesus so salvation is precious because it costed the life of the son of God hallelujah we must pay a lot of attention to salvation why should we pay attention to salvation? In the latter days, some people shall depart from true faith. First Timothy chapter 4 verse 1. Timothy faith of many shall grow cold people shall follow deceiving spirits so we must be careful so that we are not drifted away we must also pay attention salvation because we receive salvation by grace we stay in salvation by the same grace so we receive salvation through grace through grace we are sustaining salvation by grace if we are not careful we may fall and lose the grace Hebrews 12 verse 14 tafuteni kwa bidii kuwa na amani na watu wote na huwa utakatifu ambao hapana mtu atakaye muona bwana asipokuwa nao mstari wa 15 wanasema mkiangalia sana mtu asipungukie neema ya Mungu shina la uchungu lisije likachipuka na kuwasumbua na watu wengi wakatiwa unajisi kwa hilo mstari wa 16 asiwepo masharati wala asiye mcha Mungu kama Esau aliyeuza urithi wake wa wa mzaliwa wa kwanza kwa ajili ya chakula kimoja Amen. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8. Wa Efeso 2 Bible says for it is by grace you have been saved through faith. This is not from your from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works so that no one can boast. Inasema kwamba kwa maana mmeokolewa kwa neema kwa njia ya imani ambayo hiyo haikutokana na nafsi zenu, ni kipawa cha Mungu. 
wala si kwa matendo mtu awaye yoyote asija akajisifu amen so we are saved by grace we sustain our salvation through grace that's why hebrews 12:15 says be careful watch out be careful lest in a man falls so that he falls from grace he falls short of grace and bitter root grows up and trouble and defile many when a man falls from grace he becomes a defiler yes so the bible says i repeat verse 15 it says see to it that no one falls short of the grace of god so if you are not careful if we don't give it honest attention kama hatakuangalifu sana we are likely to follow kuna uwezo short of the grace of god kuna uwezekano wa kupungukiwa na utukufu wa mungu and trouble comes away na shida zinakuja mbele yetu and we defile many na tunachafuliwa so we are saved by grace tunaokolewa kwa kwa neema we must watch out lazima tukaangalifu we remain in the grace kwamba tukabakia katika neema we continue in the grace na tuendelee katika neema na another thing kitu cha kingine deceitfulness of sin ile uongo wa wa wadhambi it makes the heart of men inafanya mioyo ya wanadamu to become hard ikawe migumu and that leads to disobedience na hiyo inatupeleka kwa kutoti it makes the heart of man become like stone inafanya moyo wa wanadamu kuwa kama jiwe and god looks for a man na mungu anangatafuta yule mwanadamu who trembles at his word yule ambaye analitetemekea neno lake when you become Kalausi in your heart. Wakati moyo wako unakuwa mgumu. You will not tremble the word of God. Hautalitetemekea neno la Mungu. Isaiah 66 verse 2. Isaiah kwa sina sita mstari wa pili. Bible says. Biblia inasema. This is the one I delight in. Huyu ndiye mwanangu ninayefurahia ndani mwangu. This is the one I will look unto. Huyu ndiye ambaye namtazamia. The one who trembles at my word. Ambaye analitetemekea neno langu. Bible says. Biblia inasema. Work out salvation with fear and trembling. Kaufanyeni wokovu kwa kuoko Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We must watch out. Lazima tukaangalifu. Even as God lifts us. Wakati Mungu anatuinua. To greater levels. Kwa fadhila za juu. Watch out. Kwa mwangalifu. Lest the deceitfulness of sin. Wacha zile uongo wa dhambi. Makes our heart to become hard. Zifanye mioyo yetu zikawe ngumu. As it is written. Vijinzi vile vilivyoandikwa. In the book of Hebrews chapter 4. Kwa Hebrews mstari wa 4. Verse Verses 7 onwards. Mstari wa saba kuendelea. Hallelujah. 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 The grace of God. Neema ya Mungu. Teaches us to say no. Inatufunza sisi kusema hapana. To every ungodliness. Kwa kila kitu ambacho kisichokuwa cha kiungu. Titus 2:12. Tito 2:12. So we we continue in the grace. Tunapo we shall avoid sin. Tutaepuka dhambi. Shall please our God. Tutafurahisha Mungu wetu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Salvation is important. Wokovu ni kitu cha maana sana. Tonight, usiku wa leo. You are there. Uko pale. You are not born again. Haujaokoka. Oh, you are there. Ama uko pale. Once upon a time you were saved. Wakati kulikuweko na wakati ulikuwa umeokoka. And you went back lakini ulirudi nyuma you don't have a seal to serve god hauna ile tamaa ya kumtumikia mungu you are backslidden wewe ulirudi nyuma bible says in the book of hagai chapter 1 verse 7 bila nasema katika hagai 1:7 consider your ways angalia njia zako look 15 Luka 15 Bible speaks of a prodigal son. Bila nazungumzia yule mwana mpotevu. He went away from his father. Aliondoka kutoka kwa baba yake. But one day, lakini siku moja, he came back to his senses. Alirudi katika fahamu zake. You are there but you are saying preacher. Uko pale unasema yeye muhubiri. I had drifted away. Nilikuwa nimeondoka. I was just on the verge of 
running away from salvation ilikuwa tu katika ile nafasi ya kuondoka kutoka kwa Bwana or I'm backslidden ama nimerudi nyuma I'm not trembling at the word of God anymore nasilitemeteme silitetemeke neno la Mungu tena I don't even go for meetings siendi hata mikutano you don't care anymore how shughuliki kabisa the word of god does not make sense to you neno la mungu kwako halileti maana yote there is a remedy for you kuna mzigo mkubwa kwako you can come back to god unaweza kumrudia mungu you are there you are not born again uko pale haujaokoka i want to say this nataka niseme hili in the book of john chapter 3 katika yohana 3 verse 17 yohana 3:17 those who don't believe are already condemned wala ambao hawaamini washaukumiwa them that believe wala ambao wanaamini they are not condemned hawaukumiwi for christ not come into the world kwa maana kristo hakuja katika ulimwengu condemn the world hukumu ulimwengu but the world to be saved through him ili kwamba lakini ulimwengu ukaokuwa kwa kweli kwa kweli is by grace wakovu ni kwa ni kwa neema you can give your life to jesus unaweza peana maisha yako kwa yesu so that you can become a child of god ili kwamba ukafanyike mwana wa mungu john chapter 1 verse 12 yohana 1:12 he went to his on alienda kwake kwa wangu wake mwenyewe receive him kwa wale ambao hawakumpokea but as many received him lakini kwa wengi waliompokea he gave them power aliwapa nguvu to become the children of god kufanyika wana wa mungu even them that believed in his name hata wale ambao waliamini neno la jina lake salvation is about believing wakovu ni kuamini you believe by your heart unaamini kwa moyo wako and confess by your mouth na unakiri kwa kinywa chako romans 10 verse 9 warumi 19 and romans 3:23 na warumi 3:23 all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of god sote tumetenda dhambi na kupungukiwa na utukufu wa mungu and the wages of sin na mshahara wa dhambi is death ni mauti but the gift of god lakini kile is eternal life ni maisha ya milele in the book of ezekiel katika kitabu cha ezekiel chapter 18 mlango wa 18 verse 19 through 21 mstari wa 19 kupitia 21 bible says biblia nasema all souls belong to god nafsi zote ni za mungu the soul that sinneth kila dham ile nafsi itendaye surely die itakufa but the soul lakini ile nafsi that depart from evil ambaye inatoroka maovu and turns to god inamrejelea mungu for sex evil ways kuwapuka njia mbaya live in righteousness kuishi maisha mazuri bible says bible inasema that soul shall not die hiyo nafsi haitakufa there are two types of death kuna mbifa mbili there is eternal death kuna kifo cha umelele it is written in the book of revelation imeandika katika kitabu cha ufunuo they shall be taken in the lake of fire watapeleka katika moto immoral the immoral the wala matendo ya believers the wala ambao siamini sexually immoral wala wenye wale waongo wicked men wale watu waovu they are believers wasioamini they are condemned wale wanaohukumiwa there is but eternal condemnation kuna ule hukumu ya umilele it is called hell inaitwa kuzimu but there is also lakini pia kuna a physical death kile kifo cha cha kiasili so there is both death kuna There are two types of death for the people who don't believe. Kuna vifo mbili kwa wale ambao siamini. There is physical death. Kuna kifo kiasi cha kiasi. Separation of the soul and the body. Ile kutengana wa nafsi na mwili. But there is eternal death. Lakini kuna ile kifo cha umilele. Separation of the person with his creator. Ile kutengana kwa mwanadamu na muumba wake. So if you want to escape et- eternal death. Kama unataka kuepuka kile kifo cha umilele. You must get born again. Lazima ukaokoke. Salvation is escaping. Wokovu ni kichomo ni ile kina nafasi ya kuepuka. Escaping eternal death. Ile nafasi ya kuepuka kifo cha umilele. There is hell. Kunayo kuzima. But there is also heaven. Lakini pia kuna mbingu. If you are born again. Kama umeokoka. And you keep your salvation. Na ukaweke wokovu wako. You keep your ways pure. Ukaufanya njia zako zikawe sawa. There is eternal life. Kuna maisha umilele. Through Christ Jesus. Kupitia Kristo Yesu. But if you refuse. Lakini unapokataa. Or you backslide. Ama ukarudi nyuma. Or you refuse to believe in Christ. Ama ukataa mimi Kristo there is eternal condemnation kuna ule hukumu ya umilele a man has an opportunity mwanadamu anaye tu fursa to make his way right with god kufanya njia zake sawa na mungu why he still alive wakati angali mzima let me submit to you wacha nikawapeni hii john 14 verse 6 Yohana 14:6 Jesus says I am the way Mimi ndimi njia Truth 
ya kweli and life na uzima in jesus kupitia kristo we find the way to heaven napata njia kwenda mbinguni in mbigun. jesus kupitia kristo we find eternal life napata maisha milele in jesus kupitia kristo we find truth napata ukweli because truth manake ukweli sets one free nafanya mtu kuwa huru in john chapter 1 yohana 1 verse 16 moses brought the law Musa katengi, akafanya sheria but jesus kwamba yesu brought us truth alituletea uzikweli grace na neema are you born again je umeokoka Are you a backslider? Je, wewe umerudi nyuma? If you are not born again. Kama haujaokoka. This is your message tonight. Huu ni ujumbe wako usiku. You can give your life to Jesus. Unaweza peana maisha yako kwa Yesu. Wherever you are. Wa mahali ambapo upo. You are not born again. Haujaokoka. Or you are a backslider. Kama umerudi nyuma. You can make your way right with God. Unaweza fanya njia zako sawa na Mungu. Can come back to Jesus. Unaweza murudia Yesu. You can live again. Unaweza ishi tena. Salvation. Wakovu. It is a reality. Ni ya kweli. We need this salvation. Wakovu huu. Because it's precious. Manake ni ya ukweli. God's plan. Mpango wa Mungu. Wherever you are. Mahali popote ulipo. Lift up your hands as a sign of surrender. Ni watu mkono wako kama ishara ya kujisalimisha. Repeat after me. Dia nyuma yangu. Say Lord Jesus. Sema hii Bwana Yesu. I come to you na kujia. I am a sinner. Mimi ni mtenda dhambi. I repent of my sin. Ninatubu dhambi zangu. I open my heart. Fungua moyo wangu. To receive you. Kukupokea. As my Lord. Kama Bwana. And my Savior. Na mwokozi wangu. I forsake sin. Ninaachana na dhambi. I choose to follow you. Ninachagua kukufuata. Remove my name. Tutafuta jina langu. In the book of death. Kutoka kwa kitabu cha mauti. Write my name. Andika jina langu. In the book of life. Kwa kitabu cha uzima. I believe in you. Ninakuamini kwa. With the whole of my heart. Kwa moyo wangu wote. I believe in you. Ninakuamini. Forever. Milele. Jesus Christ. Yesu Kristo. I accept you. Nina kukubali. To lead me. Kukuniongoza. To eternal life. Kwa maisha umilele. I choose to follow you. Ninachagua kukufuata wewe. Forward ever. Milele mbele milele. Backward never. Nyuma hapana. Send me your spirit. Nitumie roho wako. To guide me. Kuniongoza. To eternity. Kwa umilele. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. I believe. Ninaamini. And pray. And naomba. Amen. Amina. If you have said that prayer. Kama umefanya hilo ombi. Look for a church. Tafuta kanisa. Where the Bible is preached. Mahali ambapo Biblia inaombwa. Where the true word is so that you grow and become a disciple of Jesus Christ you are there and you are saying i'm not feeling well we want to pray with you father god almighty Baba Mungu mkuu. God you are our healer. Wewe ni Mungu mpoyaji. We pray for our viewers. Naombe watazamaji wetu. Wherever they are. Mahali popote walipo. Every sick woman. Kila mwanamume Every sick man. Kila mwanamume mwanamume. We pray. Tunaomba. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Kwa nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu. Oh God. Eh Mungu. You are all over. Wewe uko kila mahali. You are everywhere. Uko kila mahali. You are omnipotent. Wewe ni mtu kwa mahali. You are omnipresent. Uko kila mahali. Oh my God. Mungu wangu. I pray. Ninaomba. Let your power. Kwa mbangu za Roho Oh the Holy Ghost. Touch this sick person. Heal. Heal. Set free. Every captive. We declare. You are freed. In the name of Jesus. Oh God. We declare. Freedom. For every captive. We declare. Healing. Of every sickness by your stripes we are healed in Jesus name thank you Lord we give you glory we give you praise in Jesus name Amen Amina. Give God a clap. Amen. Amina. God bless you. Shalom. Shalom.